couple of days fishing around Calcasieu Lake near Lake Charles, Louisiana in Hackberry. This video is going to show you a great place to stay and also a fantastic boat launch, West Cove. Hope you enjoy the video ahead. Plenty of action. Enjoy. West Cove boat launch, Calcasieu Lake, Lake Charles, Hackberry, Louisiana. Hadn't been here in a long while. It's a beautiful little boat launch, just perfect. And today we're going to get into some marsh. Lots of crabbing out here, all kind of wildlife. Beautiful refuge. There we go, first fish of the trip. It's going to be a trout. Yep, all in the spinner. Man, okay, trying to catch redfish, but we'll take trout. Little guy. I started the day fishing right by the boat launch, some marsh bayous that are really nice, but I learned quickly that the tide was not moving and that's why the bite was really slow. But things were gonna change, there was gonna be a lot going on throughout this video. All right, I've been fishing for a couple of hours now. One little baby trout, first cast with the gulp. I've thrown everything at him. Spinner, rattle trap, top water, jig, imitation shrimp, everything. And it looks like you catch a fish just about every cast. Beautiful water. First cast with the gulp. A nice keeper red. Unbelievable. And he swallowed it all the way down. Unbelievable. Gulp. Curly tail. All right, we have resorted to something very different. We are fishing for croaker with gulp. And while I'm struggling a bit here to find the fish, it's a good time to mention that the Beyonder Motel and Campground is right next door to Cajun Fast Mart. That's got to be the best place to stop for sandwiches and bait and tackle in all of Hackberry. Cajun Fast Mart. People there are also so nice. Ooh. There we go. Oh, yeah. You can hear by the sound what we're doing. <laughs> Croaker fishing. And they literally croak. little guys are good eating big enough to keep So lots of snags here when you're fishing the shallow water. There's some stumps under there. I'll show you a trick. You see how you make a bow and arrow. You can get yourself unsnagged. You pop that line and it sends the line forward and pushes the bait off if you're lucky. A little trick. Well, that's a world record smallest fish of the day. We downsized to a tiny shrimp and that's what it produces. A catfish smaller than my finger. Amazing. And it can still sting me. That's crazy. We're not setting any records today. The popping cork with the baby shrimp. It's catching catfish the size of my finger. Can't fillet that. Finally. Finally. Oh, and it's a trout. A little baby trout. Geez, we've caught so many species. On the popping cork with the little baby shrimp. Jeez, that's tiny, and that's tiny. So many species. Oh man, 
It's always something. I've been fishing for a croaker for a while, just crazy. And I was coming back up close to the shoreline, and sure enough, I saw just a little bit of a disturbance. You can see the back of this redfish, and you'll understand why in just a second. Big. There you go. He hadn't even started fighting yet. Why, it's gonna turn me around. So fun. Mm. On the gulp. Interesting day. That's the second good redfish though. We'll take it. On the gulp. And they can smell that thing from a mile away. It's been a while since I've caught some redfish. Big ones at least. I'll take that. Beauty. Sorry about the wind noise, but at this point I'm working my way back to the boat launch. And I'm along the south bank, like I said, of West Cove. I'm hitting every point for sure. Tons of points sticking out of that, that south bank. Here we go. Yeah, right on a point. All right. Man, that one stayed on it forever. Oh, this is getting better. Oh yeah, pretty one. Mm -hmm. On the gulp, they just can smell it from a mile away. I don't like to use it, but it works. Instead of gulp, I use Procure, and I just put it on the jig, but it's not as strong as gulp. Oh man, it's taken a while. We're back in the marsh again, and we just got thumped. This thing was rip and drag on me going behind the boat. If I can get him in, this will be keeper number four. Louisiana limit. They dropped it from five to four. I'm trying to feed a couple of people back at the hotel. Beauty. On the spinner, first one. Too many hook sets on camera today, but some good fights. Whew. There's a great picture. Spinner with the tiger bait matrix shad. It's a deadly combination. Beauty. Just one of my favorite marsh baits, but the tide needs to be moving. Those fish don't typically chase it down unless the water's really moving. Mm, yep. Called it. Perfect spot for fish. 
three-way moving water tides dropping on the spinner little guy that's five a big one man he took it and I was able to rip the hook set this thing is mauling me right now oh he went ripping behind the boat this is the big one of the day Ooh. one and a half foot of water I love these shallow bayous the fish just can't hide Oh, he's in the bushes. Good grief, he wants to go out of the bayou. Oh, big, big one. This is fun. Got that 12 pound P line. It is ripping. Cool. Oh man, he's not even that big, he's just strong as can be, he's pretty big. Oh, oh beauty, oh, god that's fun. Spinner just fell out. You can see it on my arm. Beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. All right. Boom. And one of the best things about the spinner and the matrix shad combination, just such an easy lure to use. The little gold blade vibrates a bit, has a good feel to it. It's not too much resistance, but man, it attracts those fish, causes some reaction bites. Just again, easy to retrieve. You can jig it if you want, but just really painless. And again, right at the boat. Oh. Man, these things are vicious. It's like a 12 inch redfish and he tagged it. A very cool place to fish this West Cove boat ramp out off of Big Lake and Lake Charles, Calcasieu Lake. You don't see that too often. Outboard motor use prohibited, so it's a great place for kayaks and canoes. The bayou I just showed you heads north, and then over here across the main canal, there are two bayous that head south. And you can do some really good marsh fishing. I think it's closed, it's a wildlife refuge. It's closed, I believe. October 15th through March 15th. That's a heck of an area. The water rips through here. It's hard to get through this canal when you're going against the tide like I just did. Put some beautiful redfish in there. Fun fishing. There's a big one right there probably stirring up. That falling tide and some persistence paid off. It ended up being an awesome day. Gotta love those three little croaker. That's some good eating. Now it's time to head back to the campground and the hotel, the Beyonder Cajun Moon. The ladies there are so nice. General Manager Lisa, thank you very much. Cool little office there. And they actually have a little room there with all the supplies you could need. More coming along in the video. The rooms at the motel are great, very comfortable and easy to access. It's a full service campground and you have these outdoor and indoor swimming pool areas. This is just fantastic. Part of it covered and the other part is outdoors.
Of course, you have a hot tub there and some really nice places to sit and enjoy that covered pavilion. There's also a large screen TV with a little bar there right along the pool. Very cool lake. I bet there's some fish in there. Beyonder Cajun Moon Campground and Hotel. Beautiful. It's great to have options for where to stay when you're out fishing. And this is the one tough place to beat. It's very clean, very pretty. Again, a giant campground and also a nice little motel. People are so nice. Thanks again. And certainly West Cove boat launch and boat ramp and that marsh area and into West Cove didn't disappoint. What a beautiful day. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one soon.